Okay, if you watched part two of the mill table review and upgrade, you'll remember I found the back edge of this jaw with a edge finder to set up and calibrate the table. Well, I left a step out on that, but there's an important step uh, before this that I also left out, and that's making sure your vise is trammed to the table. In other words, this back jaw needs to be parallel to the travel of the table. And to do that, you need a dial indicator you set it up on your table or the column or whatever is convenient. As long as it's not on the table for the, not on this table, but on your drill press table. Okay, to tram this back jaw to the travel of the mill table, then you move uh, your vise ahead until you find a, a reference spot. You can reset to zero if you want. And then, you move your table. Now you'll notice it'll bounce around a little bit. That's just slopping the dovetails. I'm pretty much staying on zero. That means my vise is tram to the travel of the table. And that's, that's a very important step and that's what you need to do before you do anything else. Now if it wasn't square, I would have to Loosen the lockdowns on the vise and tap it one way or the other until I got uh, until that indicator stayed pretty much the same throughout the whole travel. Now you remember in the last video, I put the edge finder between the vise jaws and found the position of that stationary jaw like that. Well, that's really not an ideal way to do it because it doesn't take into account the backlash of your table. So the best way to do it is to clamp a piece of straight steel in your vise like that, a parallel or whatever, and go behind that piece of steel. Find the edge of that. Okay, we're right there. That's in position now. Then you reset your dial to zero. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but that set screw right there is zero. Then you go one more turn. That additional turn was to go halfway through that diameter right there. That's two hundred thousandths in diameter, and one turn on my dial is one hundred thousandths. Okay, now that I've got my zero point set the right way, we can set up this stop we just made. To do that, you set the dial at zero, make your adjustment here, and double check yourself, make sure it comes out to zero every time you move it. But then you can just drop it out of the way and, and proceed as normal. I'd like to thank Chuck Balmoretto. He's the one that gave me that idea right there. He's got a YouTube channel called Outside Screwball. Pretty good channel. I'll, uh, I'll put the link down below in the description area. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Thanks for joining me and be sure and subscribe. And ring that bell.